dealing with your emotions the the um the fear the fear of um not raising the money the fear of not doing a good job it's just a constant fear over me all the time that i had to battle through you know your emotions are fantastic at times but sometimes they you know they're your own worst enemy they're just a nightmare so i spent a lot of time maybe an hour two hours every day seven days a week constantly pushing myself and constantly just sitting there and looking at my emotions and i was very aware of them so for example when i was kind of working and it, i'm doing a good job and it's been a good day but then a worry would come in then that worry would kind of create this feeling or thought or well this thought would come in that thought would then create this emotion and then could take over me my body so i'm kind of working away doing a great job and then this fear just sets over me and i'm scared i don't know why my, my stomach's feeling like i'm about to enter a maths exam and it was overcoming that so so whenever i had them emotions come across me or then moments i would just stop and go hold on a second this is now becoming non-productive i can't carry in this job with this feeling or motion inside me i just pull myself to one side and go then rationally why is this feeling coming to me so i kind of think about it through and go hold on i'm worried about not achieving something well i'm doing everything i can to get to that point i can worry about it if i like but it's not going to help in any single way it's less productive it's going to slow me down so i kind of talk to myself I'd, I'd talk, talk my way around it, talk myself out of it. And I'd like I say, I, I put a lot of time and a lot of effort into my emotions and controlling my emotions throughout the entire process. Because I found that was my biggest weakness, was my emotions. And um, I think anyone who's else out there who's doing this, I'd say just make sure you give yourself time to keep yourself checked. To make sure you're not getting that upset, to make sure you are sleeping, to making sure when that fear does set in, or, or your ego gets over the top, you just pull it back a little bit and go, you know better or no worse than anybody else. You know, I would constantly say to myself, well, if a thousand men have made a movie, men or women have made a movie, I can make a movie. If a million have made a movie, I can make a movie. What's the difference between them and me? You know, if a million men and women have made a, in, in, raised a million, well, I can raise a million. What's the difference? And to me, it was, you know, the dream, you know, that, that was it. You go, it's just the push. You've just got to keep pushing through the hard days. You've just got to keep pushing through them emotions. And I think if you do that, I think you can achieve absolutely anything. You know, I remember early on me and Sid talking and I would always say, I don't think Usain Bolt is the fastest man alive. I think the fastest man alive is sat at home watching Usain Bolt eating his takeaway and he's probably 10 stone overweight, miserable and not pushing himself to the full potential. But I think he's sat there, out there, the fastest guy in the world and he's just not pushing himself. He's just not going all the way. But Usain Bolt is the fastest guy currently in the world because he does push himself, he does go through them hard times. And I think that's what we have to do. We have to push ourselves, we have to go through them hard times. And we have to not allow our emotions to take over us and control us.